This is how you can get all of the Hogwarts chests in Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so by this point, if you've seen the other videos in this series, you know exactly what you need in order to get every item in the game. Number one, the Revelio spell. Number two, the Disillusionment charm. And number three, if you're a little bit deeper into the storyline, Alohomora. And that, my friends, is all that you need in order to do this run. We're going to go around all of Hogwarts and get every single Wandering Eye chest, which you can get early on in the game. Before we get started with the chests, I also have a small tip at the end of the video that's going to help you get all the other items that are sprinkled throughout Hogwarts. The main thing that you have to do is once you encounter one of these chests, you step away from their line of sight. Activate the Disillusionment Charm and bam, you're ready to get 500 Galleons for each chest that you open. There's around 14 chests hidden all throughout Hogwarts and I'm going to show you how to get every single one. All right, we are going through all the chest locations in Hogwarts uh, right now. So we are going to start by heading over to the one near the viaduct courtyard. So all you have to do is get this point and get all of the things that we mentioned in our previous video in terms of the disillusionment charm, Revelio, and of course, Alohomora. Let's go. Okay, so we go to the viaduct courtyard. We're gonna prep the disillusionment charm. And there we go. For this one, you're going to go right after uh, getting the one from the aqueduct. You're gonna go downwards. You're gonna go to the right, head to the left, and you're going to go down. Why is that dude running over there? Magic. Jesus Christ. You're gonna go down past the flu flame, and then you're gonna go straight into the aqueducts. So it's this one right around here. Okay, we're gonna go in, go down through the aqueducts. And then as soon as you come out, you're going to be able to see it right there at the edge of the table. So all you have to do is go around, go disillusionment, and get your 500 galleons right there, quick and easy access. There you go. For the next one, we're going to go over to the Grand Staircase into the lower Grand Staircase Flu Flame in order to get the next chest. All right, so now that we're here, make sure you go down. We're going to go up the stairs and we're going to find it right next to that statue over here. So make sure that you have your disillusionment charm already ready to go. Disillusionment. And bam, we have another chest. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is in the greenhouses. So all you have to do is go to the area that says the library annex. So if you have the flu flame unlocked, you would go to the greenhouses one. So as you can see, you made it to the garden. Now all we're gonna do is run through here, go back downstairs. And downstairs is where you're gonna get a lot of the uh, avatar vibes when it comes to this little... Uh, tank right here, but you can see the chest is right there waiting for you 500 galleons. The next one that you're going to get is going to be in the library annex locations in the divination classroom. This one actually took me a little bit of time to figure out, but as soon as you go through and get the uh, flu flame to pop up, all you have to do is keep walking. At the end of the of the stairwell, you're going to see it if you're Avelio. All you have to do. Oh, and you also get a nice little chest over here. So 558 galleons, 48 galleons. This one in similar manner is next to a classroom. So when you go to the astronomy wing, you're gonna be able to go to the defense against the dark arts classroom. But instead of going in, you're just going to run outside right here around the edge Magic. of this, yeah, exactly where I threw that confringo that I was not supposed to do inside the classroom. But you know exactly where it is. So pop the disillusionment charm and bam another chest keeping that same energy we're going to get to the uh another astronomy tower wing and then we are going to go to professor fig's classroom once you get to the professor's classroom I th i'm pretty sure this is going to be an easy one for everybody to see what are you up to now you can see it right there uh well not that there we go it's inside the bathroom get close get the chest, get out. The next one that you're gonna go is pretty simple. You're gonna go to the Bell Tower Courtyard uh, in that area, not the not the Beast Classroom, just the Bell Tower Courtyard. That'll take you to the closest flu flame. And then as soon as you get there, you should be good to start looking for it. So again, you'll be able to go upstairs. As soon as you get there, just go up the stairs. 
And then as you get here, you're going to see it at the end of this passageway. So make sure to pop your disillusionment charm. There's one chest over here. And another one over here. Yay! So, funny enough, as soon as you get the chest here, you can also head down to the dungeon and get the other one for yourself. So all you have to do is keep running down exactly where you came. You're going to turn left into this door, go down the stairs, continue your merry journey to the left. You're gonna see the passageway, the Hogwarts little horsey. Go down, don't talk to the dragon, go to the right. Then you're gonna go right again because you need a Lahomora for that door. You're gonna go up. Turn right here, head into the dungeon, and as soon as you get here, you're gonna turn right, and you're gonna see it right Rebellion. over there. So again, disillusionment. Bam, another coin. The next one that we are going to pick off, and we're almost at the end, is to go to the flu powder marker at the west tower of the Hogwarts castle. Once you're out there, you're gonna be in the beautiful picture area. What you're gonna do is try to head out of this door. You're gonna go through this passageway, not this one. Do not get confused like I did, but you're gonna pop this illusionment right here. And bam, we have another chest ready for you to loot. Finally, the last one that we're going to select is the one at the Hogwarts North exit. And this should be the last chest that you get to pick in Hogwarts. So once you make it out of the flu flame, you're going to see this entire courtyard right here looking nice and swifty. You're going to run right up the stairs. And this will be the last set of the eye chests that you are going to need to pick. So again, cross this doorway, pop your disillusionment. And here we go. You have all the chests that you need. Now, as you can see from the gear slots, we have over 6,000 coins ready to purchase stuff. And if you combine that with the money that you are going to get from the Hogsmeade run, which you should have seen on the other video right a popping above your screen on this channel. Now, you might think, what is the first way that I should spend these coins? Well, your first instinct might be to go and get some new brooms from Spit, which is sporting needs. But my first thought is that you should go to tomes and scrolls in order to get all of the right gear for your room of requirement. Once you speak to Thomas Brown, you'll be able to see all of the different configuration spellcrafts for your room of requirement. As you can see, you can pretty much access all of it. So besides spending it on gear or whatever broom fits your fancy, definitely head over to tombs and scrolls and check out his inventory. The other thing you could do is head over to Glalat's wizard wear, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because you are going to get a lot of gear through your exploration across this world. So spending your hard earned galleons on these uh, items is only worth it if there's one from the legendary tier that you can see because you're going to need to keep upgrading your gear in order to get all of the benefits from these specific gear items. So make sure that you spend your money wisely. So so overall, what I would recommend is to avoid glad rags and avoid every other shop before you go to tombs and scrolls, spend your money wisely, and then have fun. There you have it. You finally completed the chest run and you have all the chests from Hogsmeade and Hogwarts right in your possession. As you could probably tell, there's still a lot of secrets left to uncover within the castle grounds. So in case you need an easier time trying to access all of these secrets, I found a website called Map Genie that has an interactive map that lets you see every single item throughout the entire world. Don't say I never did anything for you. Make sure you like the video and I'll leave the link to the Map Genie website in the description of this video. Next up, we're going to be covering where to get every single talent within the game. So make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new with the Naughty Bell on so you can get an instant notification for whenever I post that video. As always, make sure to crack a smile just right the way, familia, and I'll see you on the next one.